What's going on guys, Mr. Acolyte here, coming to show another match review, and we are continuing our way through TGU, Tiger Uppercut, a Tournament of Power event. This time we've got Oblivion, representing Japan, going up against Poison Apple, representing Korea. We're gonna be battling out to see who gets into Grand Finals, so let's not waste any time and jump right on into it. Okay, so as you can see, they both got Lab Coat on point. I still find it very interesting that despite receiving so many nerfs, Lab Coat is still a pretty popular choice in tournament. It's not that crazy though, considering how strong her offense is. Despite her many, many nerfs, she just has overwhelmingly strong offense and pretty decent neutral to the point where players just still see value in her. Despite her having bad assists too. That's why you see her on point. So we got Poison Apple with the first big turn here. Wow, that was a I think you're gonna mash moment. So he did barrier on Oblivion's wake up just in case Oblivion woke up with a button and then called his DP assist. So if Oblivion had woke up mashing, he would have 100% got smoked. That was a nice call out by uh, Poison Apple, but it just didn't go through right there. Ooh, and that right there is why Lab Coat is still so popular. 1 million lows plus multiple command grabs equals you're going to get opened up eventually. No matter how good you are, you cannot block Lab Coat forever. It's just not possible. Here comes Goku Blue. We are chasing. Wow, right off the bat. Right off the bat, he's going in. Knocking on the door here. There goes the gone assist, and the cross-up's gonna do it. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, drops the re-jump. We still get corner pressure. Nope, sparking out. Calling his assist after sparking, because as we all know, you get your assist back, and holy cow, the neck breaker. So that is really good, because Kefla's LL usually lasts a long time, so people are gonna be used to sitting there and blocking. So not only did he, like, make the IAD safe and same side, by canceling into the S, but then he canceled the S into another air dash. Crazy, into another overhead. Man, that was a lot of mix per second right there. That was a lot of mix per second. Oh, I, li I like that. So instead of doing the stomp, he did a frame kill here. This is known as a frame kill. Frame kill is any time that you do a series of inputs or a button, usually a whiff. It'll be like a whiff button or whiff special move, just so that you get the perfect timing every time. So it's like, by him whipping that H, he knows the next time he presses H is gonna perfectly align when they're getting up. And that's what makes it a frame kill, because you're, you're killing the dead space in between the moment that you are and the moment that you want. We're fishing here. Fishing, Super Dash Call Assist, the classic. Lab Coat Staggers got one assist available. There it goes. No assists up. But he's backing off. Very, very important stuff right there. He didn't end up getting hit. But as I say very often, that's a pretty common thing you'll see at high level play is backing off once you don't have your assists anymore. Ooh, big whiff punish on the raw tag there. With the raw tag, I should say. So my man Poison Apple's got two heavily meter penalty characters. Like, my man is just no meter team. Send him down. Level three here, what do we got? Goes for the left-right attempt, it does get blocked. Ooh, but the Dragon Rush goes through. It's because, because of the way he staggered it. Gohan's uh, Dragon Rush is a little bit sneakier than others because his jab is two hits. You know, it's a stomp into a punch. Makes it a little less obvious, just a little bit. One of those things you gotta like keep an eye out for. Tried to tag him down with the JS. Also went for the cross up there. Poison Apple, he's, he's playing very reserved. I respect it. He's playing very slow. He's not taking any risks. He's making Oblivion work to try to get an opening. Once again, we get the level three. Ooh, that was definitely a bait right there. I think he was baiting. I'm not sure what he's baiting. Oh, he might be baiting 2S. Might be baiting 2S as well as Reflect. Because if he would have DP, DP would have still beat this. 
but gets two S anyway. <laughs> you can only <laughs> you can only pressure adult Gohan for so long before you're gonna get hit with that two S. Very, very, very hard to react to that command grab. Some may say impossible. Staggering once again, man. Unreactable. The one inch punch. It's just funny that Goku that Goku has access to like an amazing command grab. That's kind of funny. I just don't think of Goku as a command grab character. Like base Goku's command grab is much more of like what you would kind of expect because it has much more of a wind up on it. But I respect it though. I like how all three Gokus are very different. And I like how Blue Goku is kind of the resonant rushdown of the three. Or four, I should say. Dragon Rush is going to go through. It's usually pretty common for Dragon Rushes to go through in this situation. If the opponent gets hit, they're going to be thinking more about recovery than throw breaking. So anytime you see somebody get hit and then a Dragon Rush afterwards, Unless the person's tapping a button to tech, it's very unlikely that they're going to break that grab because they're not in grab break mode. That was a nice 2H. Ooh, a nice chase down right there. That was like a very good float. Even knew where he was going to appear instantly. Stomp. So we're going to extend this. Yeah, that should be dead. Another stomp, yeah. One and then three. Yeah, being able to do so many stomps is still, like, a crazy thing to me about Lab Coat. I still think that's one of her greatest strengths. I mean, it's it's more fair now that she doesn't build meter, but having an infinite OTG, I think, is pretty funny. In most fighting games, you only get one. Whoa. So he saw, he saw the stagger point and just started swinging. Everybody knows that Gohan's 2L is zero on block, so that man is just like, I'm swinging. <laughs> I'm swinging. Technically, zero means it's both our turns. I know you can continue your stagger and kill me, but I'm swinging. And Poison takes the first game. Okay, so let's see what the adaptation is here. Ooh, so man, Oblivion, I mean, Poison is a big believer in barrier call assist. I mean, it is very strong. It ends up getting him hit here, though. So he misses the Oki there. Man, Poison's just like, nah, I'm just gonna jump out of this. I don't wanna be part of this, I'm out of here. Spin. Oblivion waiting for his assist to come back. Whoa, that'll always be the strong thing about the spin. Uncontestable if you're in the air, you cannot mess with it. You cannot mess with the spin in the air. You have to be on the ground. My man is spinning with the intention of winning. Getting the knockdown here. Once again, barrier call assist. He really believes in that option. The very fast dive kick, man. That last dive kick buff that Goku Blue got paying dividends still. Get a level up, I respect it. Always prioritize, ooh, I think that was a 2H. Oh yeah, that was absolutely a 2H. Man, it's rare to see a 2H get smoked offline. Kind of rare. Man, we are not locking down the wake up here. Fellas are getting out. They are escaping. Send the man down, level three, I respect it. So basically Oblivion got Gohan in, got him leveled up and then got him out. Now he's got his team back in his optimal positioning and wow, man, wake up is playing a big part of this whole set. Like the wake up has been pretty much uncontrolled here. He went for a cross up and Poison decided to swing on wake up multiple times and everyone's favorite thing, the auto correct auto combo is going to get him a big opening here. That's gonna be huge damage. And he can still extend with assists if he wants to, yep. Level three? Yeah, I agree 100%. That is gonna be a lot of damage. Get some pretty good pressure here with an assist up. 
Whoa, that was, wow, that was nasty. So he just went for raw Dragon Rush and called the assist behind him. And the assist actually, wow. So Oblivion tried to land on him with a button. You saw that at the very end. He jumped out of the Dragon Rush and tried to punish it, but the C assist was still active. So he ends up getting picked up. Man. That was smart. That was smart by Apple to cover his Dragon Rush with an assist. Very smart stuff. If he hadn't done that, he'd have got smoked right there. Right, here comes Gohan. Oblivion took the time to level him up, though, so we got a leveled up Gohan coming in. Wow, crisscross. Crisscross. Are we going to go for another level, or are we just going for level 3? We're just going for level 3. Man, Oblivion is definitely one of those players who's 100% content with level 1 Gohan. He's not interested in the other levels. He doesn't try to go for the win condition. I respect it. I respect it. Level 1 Gohan is a tough customer. Wow, round start spin is going to beat Oblivion's 5S. Poison seemingly in the driver's seat here, but once again, we are not covering the wake up. He did the frame kill, I believe. Yeah, he does the frame kill again but that might have been a slight delayed wake up because he does not cover him. That's the biggest thing in this set is we're basically taking turns. I get a knockdown and then you get a hit and knock me down. It, we're not we're not keeping them locked. And that that's a very very big deal in this game. Like you have to have your Oki on point or things get really sporadic. Ooh, he tried to wake up Super Dash. That is not going to work at this level. Send the man down. Wakes up with the level three, but it gets reflected and Oblivion is on the board. One to one. Okay, so let's see what the adaptation is here. I want to see some tight Oki setups. That's what I want to see. The neutral's looking really good. Pressure is incredibly strong. I want to see some tighter Oki. Beam into assist. I like it. Stomp. Man, this character, dude, one more time. So she ice skates in. Ice skates is still cancelable. Cancels ice skates into H, into S. They believe that they can actually stand up, but guess what? She has one more low, steps on your shoes, and there you go. There goes the crazy Oki again, though. He was not expecting the, the stomp to actually hit. We are scrambling here. I predict another spark. No, he believes. Tetris? Ooh, breaks the throw. He didn't believe. Wow, that was a Tetris moment right there. Shout outs to blocking. Got another knockdown here. What's the Oki? Ooh, man, what happened right there? So he knocks him down. Ooh, he tried to wake up with the spin, but Gohan said, no, thank you. I'm not interested. Go ahead and hold this uppercut for me. Going down here. One more Oki attempt. Man, no meter built. No meter built. A lot of pressure, though, and you can only last so long. It's clonked over the head and get some life back right there. That was optimal. Get some life back and spin no meter. That's very, very optimal. Oblivion... Playing like a beast right now. Stomp, we're going all the way to the corner. We can get one more Super Dash extension out of this. More health back. Level three. Keep them in the corner too. This is all good. This is all coming up Oblivion. I think we got the download. Ooh, he had the hit, but he did not believe there. Poison Apple is way down. Way down. That is going to be a dead cap. Dead cap. Wow, this is basically a steamroll. Poison Apple solo anchor Gogeta 4. I don't know about this. Gogeta 4 has never been known as an anchor character, ever. Here comes Goku Blue. I predict a lot of grabs incoming. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. He's getting staggered. Look at these staggers. Not much he can do about it. 
No way, you are a bad man, dude. No way you just did that. No way. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Nah, Oblivion is cracked. Oblivion is cracked. No way you whip punished with a command grab, my dude. Ain't no way. So it is 2-1. Oblivion needs one more game to eliminate Poison Apple and go to Grand Finals. Does he have the download? Poison Apple playing fast now. Ooh, and there we go. He, he predicted it that time. And in case you're wondering, this is the proper way to punish a command grab. He jumps out and hits S close to the ground. Uh, if your character has an angled S like this, this is a very, very good way to punish command grabs. is what you should be doing. But if you don't have one of these and your character has a good air to H, you can also use that. Because as you know with my team, Inu does not have an air S, but his air to H works fantastically. So a lot of characters have that as well. Either air to H or JS is the best way because you don't want to jump backwards because you won't punish them. And jump super dash can be risky depending on when you do it, you might get too aged. Send him down here. Ooh, once again, the, the Oki is not tight enough. He tried to cover it with the uppercut assist, but it does not reach. And then he gets hit by an uppercut assist. Man, the Oki in this set has been insane. Get some life back. Stomp on him. Ooh, man, that Kefla move. That anti-air is so, so good, man. I gotta call it out every time. The Kefla wake-up coverage into the teleport. Wow, we are blocking, but we are also option selecting. Option select tag, boom. The classic. Option select tag will always be the GOAT. It'll always be the GOAT. Lock him down with the beam. Wow, I like that as a means to get out of the plus situation there. Just teleports away. I like that a lot. Like that a lot. Poison slowing things down again. This is this is what got him success in that first match, was slowing it down, making Oblivion chase him. Level three once again. This is going to be pretty scary. No assists, though. No assists, up. Ooh, he tried to 2S out of there. My goodness, that looked weird. Let me see. Oh, he went for beam. That's why. Okay, he went for beam and got whiff punished. Okay. I was like, that looked so strange. Get that level up. Wow, all of that was a level zero Gohan. I didn't even notice. All of that from level zero. Okay. <laughs> you saw the shimmy? I, li I love it. Uh, I, I don't know, dude. There's something just hype about, like, spark baits. Like, he backdashed, and then he shimmied. Like, definitely was trying to get that man. But I like how Poison Apple held on and did not, you know, he did not take the bait. He waited until it was actually safe. Very good stuff. It's super easy to autopilot your spark. It's one of the easiest things to autopilot it and just get baited. But to sit there and wait till it's actually safe is super impressive, especially at this level of play where the stakes are so high and your opponent is so strong. Level three coming up here. No assists though. No assists behind him. So this won't be too scary. So we got some staggers. He breaks it. Okay, now he's got an opportunity to take his turn. Ooh, once again, I was I just talked about it. He gets out of the command grab and immediately hits the S. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. It's not good enough to just jump out of it. You got to punish it, too. You got to make the command grab risky. That way, they don't even want to do it. Should get one more hit here, right? Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, no way. No way you're blocking all that. Beam into the cross into the empty low attempt into the cross up as too much. That was too much. Level one, I respect it. Get him out of there. That's a lot of blue life that can be recovered. Now Oblivion just gonna play slow. Let that blue life come back. 
But here we go. Poison does get the hit. Bring in Kefla. That's the healthy character. I respect it. I respect it. They are both prioritizing health over everything, and that is the wave. I respect it 100%. Lab coat's going down. Ooh, and he didn't even spend a bar. Very good. I respect that. I respect Poison not getting baited by the blue life. He just went for the kill. I believe, in my opinion, that is 100% the way to go. 100%. Oh, man. Oh, I would be mad. <laughs> this is my least favorite thing to get hit by right here. The corkscrew super dash. That was a double corkscrew. Did you see that? That was a double corkscrew. So it's like, first of all, his combo dropped. He tries to tag him. It corkscrews to the right, then the left, then back to the right. My goodness, bro. Truly one of the mechanics of all time is super dash. I don't think anyone can deny that it is one of the mechanics of all time. Locking him down, I like that. We've been talking about it this whole time. There we go. Empty jump into assist call that locked him down. What do we got? Empty vanish. Not empty vanish. Va vanish guard cancel, I mean. Ooh, but Oblivion gets the best this situation. Send him down here. What's the Oki? Once again, the Oki does not go through, but he does lock him. Clonked. Clonked. Man, these two are fighting, dude. This is this is a neck and neck battle. This is just a neck and neck battle right here. Oh man, what was that? Let me see. Huh. I wonder if maybe he tried to DP there. He definitely tried to do something. I wonder if he tried to do something, but either way, Gogeta's out of there. Man, some of these kills that uh, that are happening to Poison Apple seem a little unfortunate. We are backing off. Oblivion looks like he's trying to end this. He's cornering him. He's got a lot of real estate here. The super dash just goes through. Just do it. Beam, this is definitely a kill. This seems like a one-touch situation here. Let me see the health and the gauges. Oh yeah, that is a one-touch for Lab Coat. Depending on the hit, oh my god. Oh, pain and suffering. That was it. That was it. That was it right there. Oh, I don't think that's it. I don't think that can kill. I don't think that can kill. He needs one more hit. What? What? Wow. Wow. Okay, hold on a minute. We got a lot to break down right here. So he misses the Oki once again. Goes for Super Dash. Oblivion reacts with a 2H. But it goes the wrong way, and the Super Dash corkscrews and hits him instead. And then that combo drops. I think Poison Apple panicked and did LLL. And then he just lands and gets hit. Wow. What a finale. That was insane. Wow, yeah, so as far as turning points go, I think this is another one where it is fairly obvious that final scramble was just literally insane. Poison Apple could have tied it up 2-2, but he basically choked twice. He choked right there. Uh, unfortunate, that was a 100% a kill. He could have just done like... LLS spin level three, and I believe that would have killed. Like he didn't even really need the vanish extension. So like that was choke number one. And then right here, man, we just gotta look at this again. This is one of the most heartbreaking finales right here. Like this is just crazy. Like this is such a Dragon Ball moment right here that he goes with the super dash. Oblivion reacts to the super dash but gets punished 
before reacting to the Super Dash. And then Apple does LLL again. He makes the same mistake he made last time and then just lands and gets killed. Wow, man, that is one heck of a way to end a set. But either way, that was definitely, definitely good games. I really enjoyed that set. It was literally neck and neck. Both players were just very evenly matched. It just came down to closing out on different situations and definitely made it very, very fun to watch. But thanks so much for listening, guys. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite moment in the set was. I always look forward to seeing what you guys think about the sets. If you enjoyed this, please consider leaving a like as it does help the video a lot and I really appreciate it. And as usual, I will catch you guys in the next one. Ace.